welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. South Carolina has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. It's second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Up the middle for a nice gain. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 39. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Bring him down at the 36-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Good stop there by the freshman. you got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes. Right around the 22-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. This is the 10th play of the drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and goal. They're at the three. Second down. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 20. He lets it fly. Complete. It's the junior. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Make the stop around the 49-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He tackles him for a loss. away and it's a booming punt and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback I was really impressed with their last series they came out with a focus on the passing game and the offense got the job done we'll see if they have the same strategy here tackle at the 19 yard line From their own 19-yard line. Second down. Alabama up seven points. Brought down right around the 20. So at the end of one, Alabama leads it. 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That'll make it fourth and ten. They'll bring him down at the 48 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Hey. 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. That'll bring up third and four. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. And the defense comes through. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama is up a score. Tackle made at the 48. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's at the 40. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Second and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Alabama can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He hooked it right. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. From their own 36-yard line, second down. but he can't shake the defense. Passes to the right. It's picked off. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. And he's taken down at about the 9-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. 
Alabama is up seven. And they get nice yardage on that run. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, nine-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 14-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gamecocks have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half, because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively, as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off him. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. They bring him down. Alabama will take their second time out of the half. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. He tackles him hard at the 33. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Brought down at the 30. Alabama's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. They're ready to begin another drive. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Five wide. Throws this one out to the left. And he's got it! And he's finally shoved out at the 23. That makes it first and ten. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. He hits the PAT. A four-play, 70-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. South Carolina's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. First and 10. Ball on the 43. He scrambled. And he can't get away from the pressure. Kill, kill. That brings up second and 13. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. We've played a half. The Crimson Tide in front, 21-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a defense? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fl fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. They'll give it off here, and they'll bring him down behind the line. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 34. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. 
Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Caught, and he's hit immediately. From their own 41-yard line, second down. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll bring up fourth and five. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got an opening. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 46. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. Lost four yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Quick pass. He's knocked out of bounds around the 47-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. It's second and five here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Makes it out to about the 43. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Feeds it to the back. Brought down around the 42 yard line. Nice gain as he works the right side. 
That makes it third and So we're looking at another third down here. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. For Alabama, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Zips it to the tight end, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw across midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. So with one quarter remaining, the Crimson Tide in front, 21-0. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. 114, 114. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and ten. Green nine, green nine. There's three. He's gonna try and scramble. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 25. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Run, 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 run. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. Man, two. Here comes the pressure. Tackle made at the five. Gaining three yards. That brings him second and goal. They're at the five. Second down. Kill, kill, kill. Touchdown, South Carolina. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team could be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And they push him out at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. throw to the tight end and he's taken down at about the 11. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Just over two minutes in the game. Slings it, and he's shoved out of bounds at the five-yard line. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took touchdown time. the PAT. A four-play, 44-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Up the middle and stuffed. From their own 21 yard line, it's second down. On the ground with the tailback. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings, that brings up third and ten. ten. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Just under two minutes in the game. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Here's the tight end, has a first down. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Kill, kill, kill! Go for it! Check, check! Dancer, dancer! And down he goes around the 32-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Easy, easy. Move 20. They come out in an empty backfield. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. South Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Green, nine. 
Here comes the pressure. He's got it with room to run. Inside the 10. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Flag five, flag five. That makes it first and goal. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Flag five. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. A little too high for his receiver. If you throw the football into the end zone, you've got to be extremely accurate. You don't have any room for errors. We've got second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he adds the extra point. Brought down at the 42. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Takes a knee. South Carolina will use their final timeout. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 45. Under a minute left in the game. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Stop short. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 28-14, Crimson Tide. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.